I'm Julie Hassan, founder of the Chalk and Chances Project. This is the seventh video in our series, Keys to Better Student-Teacher Relationships. We know learning is a vulnerable act. If we want our students to grow by opening up and taking risks, we have to model that for them. So this video is about vulnerability. <laughs> Sharing an opinion, answering a question, offering an idea, all pose risks for students. Risk of being shamed, humiliated, or rejected. When the classroom isn't a safe place for students to take those risks, they spend their energy being hypervigilant, protecting themselves from potential embarrassment or shame. If we want students to open up in the kinds of ways that help them grow, we need to create a safe space for them to make a mistake, to accept our feedback, to be vulnerable. If we want students to take those risks, we have to take risks ourselves. We have to become vulnerable and open. Sometimes as new teachers, we get bad advice like, don't smile until December or never let them see you sweat. The problem with that is if we put out this ideal perfect teacher persona, we send the message to students that they have to be perfect in our classrooms. Instead, if we can model for them how to take a risk, how to share something, how to make a mistake and accept that mistake, we make it a safe place for them to be imperfect too. How do we model vulnerability? It usually starts with just sharing a personal story. Students love to know a little bit about our lives, our personalities, our passions, our quirks. And then we can share our own learning journey, maybe what we struggle with, talking about a lesson that didn't go as planned or something that we're trying to learn and grow in ourselves. I know as a new teacher, I didn't always talk to students about my own journey as a student. I was a dyslexic, highly anxious kid. And I realized that by sharing my own story with students, they felt free to open up and share their struggles with me. The other thing we can do is model how to make a mistake, own that mistake, and learn and grow from it. Kids don't expect us to be perfect, and modeling how to recover when something doesn't go as planned tells them that they can recover from their struggles too. And the other thing we can do is just not take ourselves so seriously. A little bit of humor goes a long way when modeling vulnerability for our kids. I love this story Jill shared about her high school history teacher, Mr. Christie. Jill said she took history in high school as the 70s were turning into the 80s, but Mr. Christie sort of hung on to this hippie vibe. She said he had long hair and a beard, and she loved everything about him and his class. Mr. Christie loved to debate his students about current topics and, and about things that happened in history. And because he respected their opinions when they shared them, they respected the opinions he shared too. Jill said one night at dinner, she saw Walter Cronkite on the news share a story about the starvation in Cambodia. And she became very concerned about that issue. So the next day at the beginning of class, she raised her hand and asked Mr. Christie about it. Now he had another lesson planned for that day, but she watched him stop and stroke his beard as he always did and look at his students. Then he started pulling down maps and putting away what he had planned and dove really deeply into that issue, made it a safe place for them to express their opinions and he shared his. And Jill said it was a moment that stuck with her because she felt like it was such a brave and vulnerable thing to do to abandon a plan and to dive into this topic that was so riddled with controversy and complication. Okay, now Jill is a first grade teacher and it's interesting that this moment in our high school history class would impact the way she responds to her students, the way she will abandon a plan and go with a teachable moment, the way she tries to elicit their opinions and ideas and always shows respect for those opinions and ideas even when they're different from hers. Being vulnerable sends a message that the complex, messy human in me sees and honors the complex, messy human in you. What a powerful message to send to our students and a way to become the kind of teacher students always remember. 
For a free ebook full of little ways to make a big impact, text the word RESOURCE to 66866. And be sure to visit chalkandchances.com for more inspirational stories.